Hello, so I want to show uh, some of the things in the API uh, and a good way to explore the API to potentially expose some additional functionality for the DAS scanner. So I loaded up Zap here just in the, in the uh, GUI interface and ran a quick scan, just standard mode, so it's not attack mode. So uh, you can see it ran uh, quick spider here. One of the cool things is you can come up here and do browse the API, uh, and that will take you over to this browser window here. And this is actually uh, active, so you can see it's running against my local proxy. These are all the different things that you can get from the API. One of them, which I just found, which I thought was interesting based on some of the work that we've recently done, is our stats section. So you can click on all stats, uh, all site stats, uh, and then get certain data out of, the, out of the scan. And this should, again, be all available in the command line uh, within DAST but um, it's a little bit easier to explore through the, the GUI. You will need an API key in order to get that. You just come over to Zap, and uh, it's a weird spot, but you go into Tools, Options, and then you look at API, and then grab the key here. Um, once you have that, you plug that in. You can get your data back in a, a variety of formats, but we'll click on that, and what you'll get is the stats of this recent scan. So you can see uh, the 200, um, Error code is 40, 301s was 10, and 404s is two. Uh, if I run the scan for a little bit longer, these numbers will change. Anyway, this is a kind of a, a nice way to uh, get the, the number of links that uh, the scan has uh, done. Uh, but the other thing just to take a look at, and the reason I put this video together, is you can go and look at a bunch of other um, functionality and see what's available through the API, so authentication and so on and so forth.